This video is for quick revision on asymmetric encryption. For detailed video, please visit below link. Let us understand the difference between symmetric encryption and asymmetric encryption. Single key is used to encrypt and decrypt message, whereas in asymmetric, two sets of keys is used. One is private key, another is public key. Key is said to be symmetric because encryption key is same as the decryption key. In asymmetric encryption, message encrypted by private key can only be decrypted by corresponding public key. Similarly, message encrypted by public key can only be decrypted by corresponding public key. Faster computation and processing, whereas asymmetric encryption, slower computation and processing. So, symmetric encryption is, is inexpensive as compared to asymmetric, whereas asymmetric is expensive as compared to symmetric. Major disadvantage in symmetric is challenge of sharing key with other party. Asymmetric no such challenge as two different keys are required. Now let us understand who have access to asymmetric keys. So for example, Mr. A and Mr. B, they are having their private key as well as public key. Now their public key will be available in public domain. So it's accessible to all, it's in public domain but their private key will be accessible only to respective owners. This is very important concept. Let us take one example. Mr. A want to send an email to Mr. B, but he want to have this email confidential. So objective here is confidentiality. Mr. A will be having four options. Either send us private key, send us public key, receive us private key or receive us public key. So, he cannot use sender's private key because sender's public key which can be used for decryption is available in public domain and hence confidentiality cannot be ensured. Anyone can decrypt this particular message. Sender's public key. Now, sender's public key can be decrypted only by using sender's private key. But sender's private key will not be available with receiver and hence receiver cannot decrypt the message. Receiver's public private key, but receiver's private key will not be available with the sender, and hence sender cannot encrypt the message. Yes, to ensure confidentiality, he need to encrypt the message using receiver's public key. Sender can use receiver's public key that is available in public domain, and only a receiver can encrypt it using receiver's private key. This will ensure confidentiality. Let us take one more example. A want to send email to B. But here he is not concerned about the confidentiality. What he wants is authenticity and non-repudiation. So again four options. For authenticity, sender should have something unique that is not available to anyone else. So Sender should have some unique key which is not accessible to others. Sender's private key is the only thing that is available with sender only and it authenticates the sender of the email. So in such scenario, your answer should be sender's private key for encryption. This will ensure authenticity and non-reputation of email. Okay, so now in this question, our objective is confidentiality as well as authenticity. For confidentiality, we will use receiver's public key. And for authenticity, what we will do? We will create the hash of the message. Hash means message digest. And encrypt that particular hash using sender's private key. So, for confidentiality and authenticity, we will create hash and encrypt that hash using sender's private key. And full message, we will encrypt using receiver's public key. Now, objective is confidentiality and authenticity and integrity. So, as we discussed, for confidentiality, we will use receiver's public key. And for authenticity and integrity, same thing. We will create the hash of the message and then we will encrypt the hash using sender's private key. So, again, 
hash we will encrypt using sender's private key this will give us authenticity and integrity and then we will encrypt full message using receiver's public key this will give us confidentiality okay so we have four options over here encrypt sender's private key sender's public key receiver's private key and receiver's public key so let us recap confidentiality where it will go oh yeah it went to receiver's public key so we need to remember this now authentication so what is something unique that sender will have no no yes sender will have something unique that is known as his private key again integrity let us see where it goes <laughs> okay again sender's private key non-reputation so objective is non-reputation then Oh, again send us private key but we need to remember for authentication integrity and non reputation we need to create hash and then hash need to be encrypted using send us private key for confidentiality full message need to be encrypted using receivers public key one more exercise so my objective is confidentiality and authentication which bracket it should go yes so sender's private key will ensure authentication and receiver's public key will ensure confidentiality now authentication and integrity oh i am not supposed to have confidentiality over here so i need not use receiver's public key only sender's private key will do so encrypt hash and use sender's private key oh here my objective is confidentiality and authentication and integrity so again I need to create the hash I need to use sender's private key for that hash and then I need to encrypt full message using receiver's public key let us have final recap so if CSA question objective is about the confidentiality you need to answer encrypt using receiver's public key if objective is about authentication all integrity you need to answer create hash of the message and encrypt the hash using sender's private key because sender's private key is something unique if objective is about confidentiality and authentication or confidentiality and authentication and integrity your answer should be there will be two factor one will be hash and other will be message itself has to be encrypted using sender's private key and message to be encrypted using receiver's public key in both the option thanks for watching please visit datainfosec.com for more such videos